Most commercials need product shots. I find shooting them to be very rewarding as they require a set of techniques different to any other subjects. What follows are the techniques I use to achieve this shot. The lighting style of the ad was based around a cannon of running LED tube lights. The director wanted to input the style of the celebrity shots to the product. I built a loose light box around the product using three silks from the DOP kit, with two either side of the product. This was to stop elements in the studio, like monitors and practical lights, from reflecting in the chrome lid. I did not light the silks, but they were bright enough to bring out the contour of the lid. I used a bleached canvas on a DOP kit frame for the roof of the light box. I lit this with a 50 watt Kinilux light. It gave a slight overall fill on the top of the lid, forming this thin line to separate it from the dark background. The main key light was from the bottom. I used another Kinilux 50 watt light gripped to the inside of the pillar, shining onto a white plexi platform. The low angled key light helped bring out the frosted texture of the product's glass and made the slightly translucent liquid inside the jar subtly glow. I dimmed the Kinilux till the light and exposure captured the exact look I was after. Two LED strips in the foreground cast a subtle soft line on the center of the product, helping capture the curvature of the product. As data is a two-dimensional medium, there is always a risk of making the product look flat if the lighting is too even. To manage the high output of the foreground tubes, I wrapped ND9 gel around only the portion of the tube that was seen on frame, leaving the rest to work as a fill light. This particular product had very fine writing on it, so I wanted my sharpest lens. But also, I wanted an extremely shallow focus, so I needed a high speed lens with a full open aperture to shorten the depth of field. I used a Carl Zeiss 50mm high speed with a three bladed aperture. This lens is sharp and shallow at the same time, but it does not have very close focus capability. So I used a plus one diopter to achieve a close focus to give more depth to the shot. Because we were so tight to the product and in such close quarter, the slightest motion resulted in a very dynamic track with plenty of parallax. I used the Kinney tracks in the Cat Tracks configuration, but a slider could have worked just as well. Those were the techniques I used to light this product shot. I hope this film has been useful to you.